Today I'm making a sandblaster. Um, it's a cheap sandblaster. I need to sandblast some wheels, so um, I would love to have a proper aluminium, fully sick, enclosed sandblaster. Um, one, I don't have the space. Uh, and two, they're yeah, pretty expensive for how much I'm going to use it. So today I'm going to make a sandblaster out of a cheap sandblast gun um, and a large plastic container. I'll show you how it works. All right, I've got a large 130 litre storage container, plastic, opaque, um, and that's going to be the main box. A sandblast gun kit. Some milk crates, some rubber gloves, and a bit of perspex. Um, this is something I'd lying around, it's pretty thick. You'll probably find something thinner and cheaper at your local plastic supplier. I'm just deciding now how high it should be. So I think I'm going to put it on the floor and um, I'll work well on the floor. I don't sandblast very often, so once I do one thing, I'll tuck it away and then get it out when I need it. So it doesn't really need to be set up high. For the medium to fall back through once it's um, blasted. Um, it'd be nice if it had a funnel to kind of force it down, but I don't, so I'm just going to drill a hole for the moment and see how it goes. So, 
So that's the hole down the bottom. As all the dust goes down, it goes into that little bucket. And the medium I've just left on the side. Um, it would have been ideal to have the pickup on the bucket of the medium. So as it falls through, it automatically sucks it back through. Um, the cool sandblasters have like a, um, a, a bent and tilted base with the medium just falls down really easily and a better pickup system. But this does a job for me. Um, there you go.